Do you remember the different colored twins from England? This is how they look now. When Alison Durand first discovered she was pregnant with twins, she and her husband Dean assumed their babies would be normal mixed-race light brown skinned babies. This was because Alison was white and Dean was black. But when she gave birth to Lauren and Haley in 2001, the parents were met with a surprise. Lauren was white skinned like their mother, while Haley was dark skinned like their father. The pair amazed everyone who saw them. The twin sisters did not just have different skin colors but also different eye and hair colors. Lauren took not only her mother's white skin but also her mother's bright red colored hair and green eyes. Haley, who was dark skinned like her father, had brown eyes and black hair. When two separate eggs are fertilized by two sperms at the same time, they each get a different genetic inheritance from their parents. This means that since non-identical twins share around 50% of their parents' genetic makeup, they can be born with different skin colors, and this was the case for Haley and Lauren. Haley and Lauren grew up as non-identical twins with different skin tones, and childhood was not entirely a wonderland for them because of how different they looked. People stared at them oddly and sometimes made rude comments. It really was hard for a lot of people to believe they were actually sisters. At school, the playground, and everywhere they went, people just couldn't believe that a bright-haired white girl with green eyes and a dark-skinned girl with brown eyes could possibly have the same parents. But it didn't matter to the twins because Haley and Lauren were inseparable. They were always together, almost as if they were conjoined twins. In their community, the twins were like mini-celebrities. As soon as people discovered they were sisters, everyone wanted pictures with them. If anyone did not believe they were twins, Haley and Lauren would get them to Google them. Their friends and playmates constantly wanted to know how it felt to be twins but different. But the girls didn't see themselves as odd or different. To them, they were perfectly normal. Lauren would always tell people who asked her what it was like that it was basically like having a best friend. But not everyone took their words seriously. One day, Lauren came home from school in a bad mood. She was in tears because her schoolmates kept insisting she was adopted. The thought of not being a real daughter to her parents or even Haley's twin was scary to her. But their mom calmed her down. Allison remembered how people had reacted the same way when they were born. Some people had even thought or suspected that Lauren had been adopted because Dean and Haley were dark-skinned. Dean's colleagues did not believe Lauren was his child until he showed them the twins' as baby pictures. Same thing with Allison and Haley. So Allison did the same thing. She showed Lauren every baby picture of her and Haley to prove that they had been together since birth. This gave the girls the confidence to navigate through middle school into high school. When Haley and Lauren got to high school, they were separated into different classes. This was the first time they had been separated in any way. Just a few months into high school, Haley started acting moody. She refused to eat at home or even hang out with her friends. Soon enough, she started getting bad grades. Worst of all, she was distant from Lauren whom she normally shared everything with. Her parents Dean and Allison couldn't figure out what was wrong. When she began losing weight drastically, they knew they had to do something about it. Her parents spoke to Haley's teachers and friends to find out what was up with her, but no one seemed to know what was wrong. Lauren finally had enough. She knew she had to get to the bottom of this. Haley normally never hid anything from her, so her recent behavior was disturbing. But first, Lauren felt she needed to do something to make her sister happy. She decided to give her a surprise gift. The gift Lauren got for her twin was something Haley had always wanted. A historical romance novel. So Lauren swiped the key to her sister's school locker to drop the surprise gift there. Her thoughts were that her sister would see the gift and feel happy. Then she would be able to open up to her. But when Lauren opened the locker to drop the gift, she got a shocking surprise of her own. Lauren saw a boatload of notes in Haley's locker. After going through them, she immediately knew that they were from Haley's classmates. The notes contained hurtful and derogatory remarks about Haley, attacking her appearance and background. Each one she read was filled with cruelty. One criticized her for not being as pretty as her sister simply because she had darker skin. Another suggested she should have been white like her mother and sister. Yet another questioned her suitability compared to her green-eyed sister. One even insinuated that she had likely been picked up from the streets. Lauren lost her cool immediately. She stormed into Haley's class and demanded to know which of them wrote such nonsense. Of course, no one stepped out and everyone played mute. When Haley saw that her sister now knew the reason behind everything, she broke down in tears. As soon as Lauren saw this, she ran towards her sister. She cupped Haley's face and told her, You're the most beautiful girl I have ever laid my eyes on. Your skin color is perfect. I'm going to get justice for you. Lauren then gave a stern look to Haley's classmates and hopped to the principal's office 
to report it to the school authorities. The school took the matter seriously, as they had a zero-tolerance policy for any form of discrimination. After trying unsuccessfully to get the culprits to step forward, Lauren suggested that they check each of the students' handwriting to determine the perpetrators. The teachers cross-examined each student's school note with the mean notes, and it worked. The three students responsible were fished out and expelled. The school was embarrassed that such things had been happening in the first place, so they held a talk to educate the students on discrimination. Haley was invited to the podium to talk about her experience to educate and inspire her peers. Dean and Allison were happy with this, and they encouraged Haley to step up to the occasion. Haley went up to the stage to give her speech. She started beautifully, but halfway through the speech she broke down in fresh tears. Then Lauren came to the rescue. She climbed up the stage and finished the talk for her sister. The twins were applauded for their bravery, and they became icons of justice and acceptance in the school. Their pictures were placed in the school's library and their individual classrooms. Lauren and Haley had made their family even more special, but something bigger was on the way. Something big enough to take their family into the Guinness Book of World Records. It began when the twins' mom got pregnant again, with twins again. This time around, Allison was made to go into labor at 37 weeks when doctors discovered that her babies were in the breech position. Immediately after the delivery, the babies were rushed to the neonatal intensive care due to the problems with their breeding. This meant that Allison and Dean didn't get the chance to see them properly. When the happy parents finally saw their new babies, Dean and Allison realized that they had defied yet more odds. To the shock of everyone, Allison had given birth to another set of twin girls with different skin colors, just like their elder sisters. Dean Durant's newborn daughter Mia had dark skin like him, while her twin sister Leah had fair skin like her blue-eyed, red-haired mother. The family made headlines again, making them the only family in the world with two sets of biracial twins. After their premature birth, the newborns spent several weeks in the hospital before heading home with their parents and older twin sisters. Dr. Sarah Jarvis explained that to have two eggs fertilize and come out in different colors is quite rare, and the chances of it happening twice in the same family is one in millions. This phenomenon is so uncommon that there are no available statistics to illustrate its probability. However, geneticists believe it will become more common as the number of mixed-race couples increases. Growing up, Leah and Mia dealt with their own share of challenges. People got confused and asked them the same questions Haley and Lauren were asked as kids. And not just that. Sometimes the younger twins were unfairly compared to their older sisters. However, Haley and Lauren guided them through these challenges and taught them tips and tricks to get by. Leah and Mia grew to develop a strong bond just like their elder sisters. They do everything together and support each other. Even as Haley and Lauren neared adulthood, they still did almost everything together. The only difference between them and the younger twins is that the older twins now have different interests. As for the younger twins, time will reveal theirs. Haley is passionate about theater and she dived into drama and sociology, while Lauren began to explore the sciences. Haley's dream of studying theater in California came true with a scholarship after high school. It was exactly at this point that Lauren began battling a serious illness. Despite Haley's desire to stay and support her sister, Lauren insisted that she go, emphasizing the importance of seizing the opportunity. This left Haley torn between her longing to stay by her sister's side and her aspirations for her career. In the end, she left for studies. However, loneliness in California led her to realize the depth of her bond with Lauren, prompting her decision to return home, sacrificing her scholarship. The sisters' reunion affirmed the strength of their unbreakable connection proving that distance couldn't weaken their bond. Now back at home, Haley applied to study drama and theater studies and sociology at a community college while Lauren explored the sciences in the same university. Despite this difference, the girls share many similarities. They often engage in the same activities at the same time, dress alike, and can even finish each other's sentences. Sometimes they seem to know each other's thoughts. However, they still have their unique interests. Haley enjoys makeup, whereas Lauren isn't interested in it. Lauren, on the other hand, likes video games and vloggers, which don't appeal to Haley. Nevertheless, the sisters have shared the same room since birth, and they wouldn't have it any other way. Haley even struggles to sleep when Lauren stays elsewhere. As for 10-year-old Leah and Mia, they have grown to look more alike in recent years. Their mother noted that the younger girls idolize the older ones and are always copying Haley and Lauren. It's like having two mini-me's. When kids at school ask the girls why one of them is milk chocolate, and the other one is white chocolate. The girls replied that it doesn't matter. All that matters is that they are sisters and best friends. Allison couldn't be prouder of them. Leah is in the same school class as Mia, and they both share the same bedroom. To Leah, Lauren and Haley are her heroes. She loves her older sisters and she wants to be like them when she grows up. Mia also believes they're the best. 
They thought her that having a twin sister is the best thing in the world, even if you're not identical. The only bummer is that the younger twins do not get to see their older sisters that much, because they're always at college or work. Just like Lauren does, Leah always sticks up for her sister and picks her up if she falls over. When people don't believe Mia is her twin, Leah usually shouts she is my sister. As Haley and Lauren navigate college life, they find it amusing that they still encounter familiar challenges from their past. College presents its own set of difficulties, especially due to the presence of various ethnic groups like Asian, white, and black students. Haley found herself approached by the black group, attempting to integrate her. In response, she introduced Lauren as her white twin sister, much to everyone's disbelief. Some individuals reacted rudely, demanding proof of their twin status. Many fellow students assumed their best friends rather than sisters, let alone twins. However, the girls would simply laugh and provide evidence, such as their passports or childhood photos, leaving others shocked. Over time, Haley and Lauren have grown accustomed to these encounters, finding humor in the reactions of their parents. Today, the twin sisters are almost 20. They still hate being apart just like yesterday. As for their skin tone, it's still very much different. These sisters are proof that family always comes first. What's your favorite memory with your siblings? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.